Hi, everybody. Well, today we're going to discuss something very, very important with theater. Before we go to the next step in theater, we start, before we start my next phase in theater, dress rehearsal. Dress rehearsal is like you're doing the performance. It allows the actors and musicians to perform in every detail. Basically, it's a performance without an audience. But I've gone to dress rehearsals, and one of my dress rehearsals, we had it was stopped. And we had we got stuck on a scene. Even at dress rehearsal, you can't. It, it, will, be, it will be stopped if something does not look right. The director, the musical director, or anybody. You do not use any scripts during dress rehearsal. You wear your makeup. You wear your costume. You get your hair just so as if it is a performance because you have to have an idea what it's going to look like for the opening night, which will be the next night or two. There are generally two dress rehearsals. One is the one dress rehearsal. The next one is final dress rehearsal. Dress rehearsals are very, very, very important to do a show, obviously. And since I've been doing theater for many, many, many years, I've done many, many dress rehearsals. I mean, we get up to this point that it's so close to the performance, everything is all put together, the sets are moved, the makeup is on, the costumes are right, the music, the lighting is right, and the orchestra is playing the music, but there's been times, even a dress rehearsal, until you actually get to the opening night, that you will, the, the rehearsal will be stopped. And usually, they don't just stop it because they want to stop it. Sometimes there's no choice but to stop it if something is off or something. It doesn't look right. You, you know, you want to make sure it's, it's taken care of before the rehearsal. You will have one, you'll have your warm-up for music at dress rehearsal. You'll also do a little choreography, uh, uh, watch my tickets, so you can move around, get warmed up for that as well. And it's basically, it's like doing a performance, except without an audience, obviously. There's been dress rehearsals that uh, a friend of mine had to come, for example, to see the show because she wasn't available for the performance. I said, okay, that's fine, as long as it's okay with the director. So that's what a dress rehearsal is. It's it, it's the week of tech rehearsal, and now we're into the point of dress rehearsal. Deborah Theater, have a great day.